Hi guys! <laughs> I am dressed in the bee costume, but I'm not checking the hives today. When we were gathering eggs, we noticed some wasps nest, some kind of wasp, has built a nest in our chicken coop. And actually we noticed it a few days ago, but it's getting kind of big and I'm afraid someone's gonna get stung and we're gonna have friends collecting eggs for us over the next few days. So I decided, we're trying to decide what to do about it. And we, of course we don't wanna use chemicals. <laughs> but I remembered that we have bee costumes, bee suits. So here I am in the bee suit about to extract two wasp nests out of the chicken coop. This should be good. So here is one of the wasp nests and it has quite a few wasps on it. Very scary. And this is right over where we collect the eggs. So I need to get this out of here. My plan is to take a jar. I've got a pint-sized jar with the lid and I'm gonna try to just put the jar up over the wasp nest and then get the lid on it as fast as I can and hopefully get them all in before they fly off and try to sting me. Nobody else will come out here with me while I'm doing this so I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I did it. I got the two nests down from the chicken coop and caught a few of the angry wasps in the process. So at least they won't be bothering us when we collect eggs. Speaking of flying, stinging insects, here's some of our honeybees. Mm -hmm. They found a water bucket. They always find the water buckets for the animals but they can't swim and they can't land on the surface of the water. So we figured out that bricks work really well. Like they can stand on the edge of the brick to reach the water. This one is not doing so well. Oh, it's okay. Get to the brick. There. Let's check on the hives. It's been a hot day and it is it can be kind of sunny over here by the hives, so during the heat of the day they usually come out of the hive to cool off and they'll climb all over the front of the hive. So it's shady now, but it was quite sunny over here just a couple hours ago. So they are still flying around outside the hives, cooling off. Here's an update on our beehive situation. So I made the first part of that video a month and a half ago before we left for vacation. It was the end of June and we were just going into the hottest part of the summer. And my sister's father-in-law, Michael, is the one who actually takes care of the bees and he set everything up for us. While we were gone on vacation, he came in in mid-July and checked on everything and collected some honey. So we actually did get like eight cups of honey from our own hives. And um, I put some into a little honey bear. This is what we use in, our, in my kitchen. So I have, I took four cups and Amanda took four cups. And I've already used a full cup since July. 
Um, but he was able to collect some honey, but it didn't seem like, I think three out of the four hives were not doing so well. So we have one hive that's just doing great, and the other three, not so good. But I guess that's kind of what you can expect, especially in the first year before everything is completely established. So I don't know if they had a swarm or if they had some kind of disease or what, but out of the four hives, one of them is doing great, the other three, not so good. We're just going to focus on that one hive as we go into fall and winter and try to get them nice and stable and watch out for any splits and then just uh, see how things go. Thanks for watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe, you can get a notification as soon as a, a new video comes out and I will be making a lot more in the next few weeks. I have several coming out right away because I've been making a lot of videos but not editing and posting so I'll be posting a bunch coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like my video, subscribe, <laughs> go to our website. Uh, there's a link below, freehomefarm.com. Thanks.